Hello my Stitchy friends. Hope everyone is having a good Thursday. I am outside in my backyard. Just want to do a different type of video today and it's really nice out so I wanted to come outside and get a little bit of air. Got a bit of a migraine happening so I'm hoping that maybe if I just sat out here and just got a little bit of fresh air it'll make me feel better. Hopefully there won't be too much traffic at this time of the day but I'm in my backyard so and that is what I see in my backyard, woods. Woods, 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 and more woods. <laughs> I really like it here though. Um, so I wanted to start the video off first with an apology. I want to apologize to all my viewers and people that, you know, may have clicked on my video. Um, I want to apologize for the swearing that I did yesterday in my video. I've since deleted it. Uh, I did that because that's honestly not me. Uh, once in a while I slip a, an F-bomb out here and there, but yesterday just was not a good representation of me. I'm not like that at all. That's honestly not my character. I was just really having a bad day from Tuesday. When you suffer from anxiety like I do, it's harder for me to let it go than most normal people. You know, people would sometimes would be just like, whatever, that happened, I'm done. And they would move on. But again, when you have anxiety, it just gets to you more. And you have a harder time to push past it. Which is what happened with me yesterday. So, my apologies to all of you out there that viewed it. Um, I had a comment on it this morning. Um, I deleted the video partially because of that comment, but mostly because I had been thinking about it after I put it up and I went to bed and woke up and I thought you know that video didn't really represent me very well so I had intentions of taking it down to begin with um, so anyways again my apologies for that video um, my intention is to put good vibes and positive energy out into the world one of the people I admire the most is Ellen DeGeneres I love her I love her personality I, when I'm having uh, sometimes a bad day, I will watch her show and laugh and laugh and laugh and I instantly feel better. That's what I want to do with this channel. I want to make you guys feel good. I want to carry on my obsession with cross-stitching. It feels nice to be able to talk with you back and forth. I've made some friends on here. Uh, McKenna, who I, you know, I've been talking with a little bit, which is really nice. Um, I enjoy all of your guys' videos. Uh, I got some nice comments from Bendy Stitchy. Uh, I'm lucky enough that I can send her a chart that I was given, so I love passing along the Stitchy kindness, uh, which is what I want to do. So again, my intention is to send you guys positive energy, positive vibes into the world, because the world right now is kind of crazy. Um, Noticing it more and more, I live in Canada and we've been seeing an influx of refugees coming into our country. Um, in it, it, just in the recent past, what, six months, seven months? Uh, and it's very sad to me, but it's also very, you know, I live in Canada where we are accepting the people of all, color, all colors, races. Um, so that's what I want. I, I want to give you guys good vibes, good energy, fun videos, and again, my apologies for yesterday. Uh, it will not be like that again. So with that being said, I'm going to start today's video off with, I've got updates and some new stuff that I want to show you and a book review at the end. So hopefully you will stick around and forgive me for yesterday. All right, so one of my favorite things to do is to go online and go through 123 Stitch or Stony Creek, just looking for new patterns that I want to do. Boy, did I find some. So because I am still new to this whole floss tube thing, and I keep saying that, but I've been doing it for a year, um, I want to try to figure out how to insert pictures, but I'm not that savvy at it yet. Uh, and to be honest, I don't have a lot of extra time during the day. I'd rather be stitching <laughs> um, or stitching and obviously taking care of my kids. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I found on 123 Stitch. Okay, 
So I'm going to show you through my iPad. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. This one is a new one from Jardin Privé, which I freaking love. Now, I'm saying new, but I just found it on their website and it was on their new patterns, so I'm going to assume it's new. Um, it's called ABC de la Brodies, Brodes, and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I hope there's not much of a glare. Oh, there is a glare. Well, see if I can get that in. Can is it in there? This might not work out so well outside. Oh, 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 you can see my house. So isn't it beautiful? Basically what it is, it is um, the ABCs of stitching. Now normally I don't like ABCs, but this is different. It's got like Ada, button, cotton, counted, lace, fabric, design, stitch, initials, project, hornbook, linen, sampler, and it just goes on like that. So it, that's just beautiful to me. Just beautiful. Let's see if I can turn this so I can see what you guys, and you guys can't see anything. What a bad idea. Well. I tried so let me see with maybe the next one that one I really that's on my list um, okay so the next one that I found is circle of vampires and it's by Alexandra Adelaide it's really cute oh that one's not too bad boy I need to clean my screen look at all the uh, the marks that one's nice uh, the next one that I found is really super cute and it's called Who's There by Satsuma Street. Yeah, I think uh, maybe after today I might have to actually spend some time learning how to insert photos. Um, and then the next one that I found that I like, it's by Plum Street Samplers and it's called Berry Cottage. Uh, maybe if I turn up the brightness see if that would help. Maybe. Maybe I should have thought about this coming outside. This looks horrible. And then the next one, I'm just going to keep going with it though. It's called A Thousand Hills. Uh, uh, uh. This is not turning out the way I wanted it to. Ah, and that's called Judge Not. I'm probably giving you guys all a headache. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I do want to order the new cross stitch, um, Stony Creek cross, well, the Stony Creek, um, which one is this one? I believe it's the summer issue. Is that better? Um, the favorite pattern out of that one is definitely these little guys. Aren't they cute? I would definitely make that into the um, either a bell pull. pull. Uh, yeah, I probably would have to make that into a bell pull. I don't think that'd be a pretty big bookmark. Um, and then the next one I'm probably going to order maybe this weekend or next weekend. It's the spring issue. And this is what they have. I love that. It's Paris. Isn't that beautiful? To me, that's so beautiful. Repres oh, like It's got so many nice colors in there. And the hearts. To me, that's my dream, is to go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower. So, those are the new ones that I found that I'm very interested in, um, and I'm going to try to pick them up. Um, I have a question for you guys, though. So, whoops, sorry. So, I've been noticing that on 123Stitch, they have the, or no, down Sunshine Lane, they have the bead packs for the Caramia and the Lu Lucia Mia, is that the other one called? So they have the bead packs that you can buy. They were offering the bead pack for $11.50. When you buy the beads individually, it only works out to $8. So, 9, 10, 11, so that's like three, four dollars difference. Why would I do that? Can you explain to me, if you guys know in the comments below, if it's something's if they're offering it for 11 and you can buy the individual packs for eight dollars why would you do that just wondering I'm not being rude I just want to know why would you I don't know just just my thoughts <laughs> um I did have a tiny haul which this is a video the magazine I showed yesterday 
It's the world of cross stitching. I left the freebie inside. I should have brought that out. Um, my daughter brought this to me after I had a really bad day, which I had explained in my video yesterday. Um, again, I'm so sorry about that. Um, so there's a couple of new designs, uh, a couple of designs in here. That was the freebie right here. If you guys want me to go through this, I will. Um, but I think Stitcherista Danielle had already done this one too, so uh, I could link her channel down below. Of course, I'm sure you guys can all find her. There, I really enjoy this magazine. I actually like to come out outside, lay here in my hammock and just go through it. Um, this is really pretty. And of course, this magazine's kind of glossy, so with the sun just being right here, there's a bit of a glare. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. Um, I'll just link her channel below if you guys want to check that out. Because she's she's did a really good uh, flip through of it. But this magazine is really good, and I really do recommend it. Um, it has a lot of good articles, a lot of Q&As. There's one part in here which I think is really cute. Um, they There's a girl that... Um, she was looking for a certain design, so she emailed them and that woman found her the design. I thought that was really nice. They also have in here how to finish your work off as a canvas. Right there. I like that. I like that very much because I'm always trying to look for different things other than just by doing like um, framing. So there's a lot of different ideas. Oh look at that, it already it already ripped. Darn. Well, not ripped, but it like the staple came out already. That's okay. Let me, I'll fix that. So, um, yeah, so my daughter picked this up for me from Chapters, which is really sweet. She knows I love stitching, so, and I didn't have this one yet. So very happy with that. Now I'm going to get on to my whips, uh, show you guys what I've been working on. The very first one is, this is have to find my design. This is my very first Nara Corbett. Um, she's called Foxglove Pixie Blossoms. It's beautiful, beautiful. This is how far I've gotten along on her. I must say I almost gave up on this fabric, but I'm just gonna push this this way. Um, I almost gave up on this fabric because it was, you know, giving me a bit of a hard time. Um, you know, I'm not used to doing a lot of things on like a different linen and stuff. But I'm really enjoying, um, after I get into the rib, to the rhythm of it, I'm really enjoying. And you know what? I don't know if I should <laughs> do videos out here. I thought it would work. <laughs> I thought you guys would be able to see. Oh well, there we go. So I'm enjoying this now. At first I was really, you know, like oh, frustrated because I couldn't find the holes. Like my eyes are getting pretty bad and I think I better get to the eye doctor. You know, maybe I need to put some glasses on when I'm stitching and it'll help me. Could be the reason why I'm getting a lot of migraines. Um, my next one that I'm doing is Marquise by Jardin Privé. Everyone has seen this. I believe McKenna had done it as well, which is where I, I discovered it from her. I am obsessed with this one. Look at the work. Oh yeah. Look at that. I just love it. Um, I would take it out of the hoop, but I, I had a hard time getting it in there, so I'm just gonna leave it. But I started this last week I actually wrote on the pattern when I started it. Uh, I started it August 19th. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just obsessed with this. I can't even seem to put it down. Like I picked up, um, oh look at that, I got a hanging needle. I picked up Foxglove yesterday and I just couldn't get into it and this one was calling me. So you know what, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it. Um, there are some mistakes in here that only I know where they're at. Uh, 
and my thread got caught a lot of the time. The back is a complete mess, but what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? <laughs> it's all, the, whatever the front, the front is the, the main thing. That's what needs to look good. So yeah. Um, I just love her. I love her. This one, when I'm done, I have to look for the perfect frame. I was even thinking about doing like a round, like a round frame or something, or maybe even putting it into a hoop, like decorating it that way. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm so obsessed with this. Um, and like I said, there are a few mistakes, but that's, that's just authentic, right? I'll do it on this side. So that's just me. Um, and only I know where they're at, so I, you know, I had a girl that I was watching the other day and she had pointed out a mistake that, you know, if she wouldn't have pointed it out, I wouldn't have noticed and I don't think anyone else would. So we're so hard on ourselves about that, but we really should just, you know, take it as it comes. Um, so I'm very much enjoying that project. And the next one that I picked up is Mother's Bliss, and that is by Mirabilia. Beautiful pattern. Not a lot of progress on this one, but some. Um, I started this on Wednesday. I think I put a couple stitches into it. No, Monday, and Monday was super hot, so I put it down because it was just too hot. Um, this is as much as I've gotten done. That little tiny bit, another hanging needle. That's it. Um, that's her face. I'm going to work from the top to the bottom. Um, again, not a lot done, uh, but some progress. So, I mean, you know, one stitch done that day is less that I have to do. So, um, I really wanted to start this project, but like I said, it was just super hot on Monday and just when it's really hot, you're just like, oh, it's so hot and he, I just couldn't get into it. And then we went out shopping for my son. I had to go get him some school supplies and stuff like that, which I had mentioned previously. So then my next one um, is Brew Haha. From a, it's a complimentary design from Plum Street Samplers. I'm not going to show all of it, but there you go. If you wanted to go and find it after, just look in their freebie section on their site. I will link them below. Um, this is all I've got done on this little guy. I have just his whole face and uh, one leg or one arm. <laughs> Um, oh, and I forgot to mention that those ones are being done on 14 count Ada and 14 count Ada and I don't remember the count of this. This was something that I found at Value Village. Um, I left the card inside. I think it's 25 count. Um, I'm sorry, I should have brought that out. Yeah, but the other two are just 14 count Ada. So, I just got bit by a mosquito, which really stinks. So, I don't like mosquitoes. I don't think anyone really does. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, it's just a piece of uh, Afghan material. Um, not sure how I'm going to finish this. Maybe turn it into like a, a cushion. I was thinking about watching Vana, Vana the Twisted Stitcher. Uh, she's got a lot of finishing ideas on her channel so I'm gonna check them out uh, I haven't watched one yet I've just been hearing about it so but I think that would look really cute now this one has the alphabet and I debated whether or not I was gonna stitch it but it kind of ties into the whole design so I'm gonna go ahead against my rule and I'm gonna stitch the alphabet because um, I think it'll look really good so and then my last project that I had worked on was the Patty Patchwork. Um, this is from Cross Stitch Nano Works September 2014. And Patty is by Brooks Books. This is what she's going to look like. I'd like to have her done before uh, Halloween. 
and I'm thinking about putting her on a stitch canvas on a canvas like um, Stitcherisa had shown in one of her videos um, this is what I've got done on her I'm gonna put that behind so isn't she beautiful I should have used this book for the other ones actually uh, but I managed to get some of her face and the arms done and just a little bit of the black here I'm gonna keep working on her um, I picked her up on Monday I thought maybe I could stitch this instead but Monday was just not a good day to stitch it was just way too hot um, I'm pretty happy though because fall is my favorite time of the year you know you can we have a lot of work to do in the yard um, my husband's got his skidoo over there and, and behind the garage and he's got a few things like we've been renovating the house and then the um, the um, what do they call that <laughs> the siding from the house just like there's some pieces that are around and he's got to you know take them to the dump we're pretty happy because our city dump is just like down the highway from where we're at so um, anyway so another thing I've been looking at was these ones here uh, they're really cute it's in the same magazine as Patty um, I'm not ready to stitch that yet but all right so that's what I've been working on uh, my upcoming plans I don't know Marquise is pretty much hogging everything right now I love her uh, I want to keep stitching her so bad then I might go back to Quaker girl I love her as well and um, I might order those two magazines from Stony Creek um, so I don't really have anything set other than getting those two magazines from Stony Creek I really really want Karamia and Lucia Loot, loot, I hope I'm saying those right, but those two mermaids, the new ones from Nora Corbett. Um, I really want those ones, um, and I'm going to keep working on, I haven't even picked up Renaissance Mermaid yet. It's just been so warm and so hot that the stitching bug has kind of waned a bit on big projects like Foxglove and... Um, you know, I want to do Renaissance Mermaid and I want to work on Mother's Bliss, but it's just too warm. So for me right now, um, just having those four colors for marquees is just perfect. Um, there's also a fair here and I saw McKenna's video yesterday where she was asking everyone which ones she thinks that we should enter or she should enter into the fair. Um, so I saw that and then I was thinking, oh, there's the expo fair that's coming up here. I never even thought of putting one of my stitches in there. I'm going to go on Saturday. I've never really gone to an expo like that for a while. Um, I used to go when I was a kid, but I haven't been to one. So I thought maybe I would just pop in on the weekend and just see. And maybe I can enter in something for next year because it's already started. So I think it's too late, but I'm going to go and see what they have. Uh, I'm probably gonna go on Sunday and if I do maybe I'll take a quick video and show you guys if there's any cross stitch uh, entries in um, so before I wrap up the video I want to mention that I'm the last um, samplers and things that I got from my friend uh, Denise um, I've given away two of them well one for sure I'm still waiting on an answer from the other one from the carousel um, but I really want to give away these other three. Uh, I want to give them away because I want to put some stitchy kindness out into the world. Um, and I want to show you, uh, not show you, I want to, I just want to give away some kindness because that's what we need right now. So if you're interested in Madonna, I'm going to go over it again. If you're interested in this one, or if you're interested in its relative love, a little bit of damage to the front of the cover, that's not me. But that's okay the chart is still good um, there are different charts in here there's those ones so if you think you might be interested in that let me know um, and then there's also floral bouquet which is really nice this is by Stony Creek um, this is also by Stony Creek 
then this is by True Colors Cross Stitch, which I'm not familiar with. Oh, that's neat. It says adapted from paintings by Raphael Botchilli and Corrigo. Hmm. That's interesting. So again, if you're interested in any one of these three, please let me know and I will give them out to you in the mail, um, free of charge. And of course they've come from smoke-free homes, so no worry about smoke. Just again, just to mention, there is a bit of slight damage to this one, so just to let you know. Um, so before I wrap up the video, I gotta tell you I just finished this book. I've been reading a lot lately reading a lot mostly before I go to bed. It's very relaxing. Uh, again by Sarah Addison Allen. It's called First Frost. Um, not sure what to say about this book. It really wasn't much of a plot. It just kind of felt like a big journal. Do you know what I mean? Which is really cool. Um, uh, I was a, just a little tiny bit disappointed in the way that one of the storylines was potentially going to go, but then it kind of feels, um, but, um, yeah, other than that, it was really, it was interesting. Um, it took me about, I think maybe four days to read it. It's not a very big read. Um, 291 pages, so it wasn't a big read. Um, she's the one who I did a review on my, the last one called The Sugar Queen. Queen. Um, and I'm going to go to the library and see if I can pick up some more of her books. I really I, I enjoy her. Um, this is a fairly newer book. It was done in... Check the copyright. Uh, da, 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 I think 2000... Oh, 2014. Copyright. So, came out 14. But... Not a bad book. Um, again, not much of a storyline. Plot kind of fizzled for a little bit. I was kind of interested and then it fizzled. But good. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, not a book reviewer by any means. I just tell you if I like it or if I don't. Um, so yeah. So that's it for my video for you guys today. I'll probably be back in about another week. Unless something comes up. If I have like a another awesome review to do of a cross stitch crazy magazine um so yeah i'm not gonna apologize anymore i've made my peace at the beginning of the video and uh you know i gotta learn to take it easy on myself and not be so hard on myself and yeah so i hope you guys have a great rest of your thursday again this is the view from the back of my house for those beautiful trees. I just love it here. I just love my backyard. Just love it. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can with this thing. Yeah. I'm sitting out on my hammock in my backyard. I love my tree. She's serving me well. Um, so I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your Thursday. Thank you so much for stopping in. Uh, if you have any comments for me, just put them down below. I'm being called. What? Yes. It should be done now. Just flip it. Flip them. <laughs> yes. It's, all right, guys, so I'm going to go in and have some lunch um, ah, as I take an ant off me. Ah. All right, I'm seriously going to go now. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon, probably in about a week, with another update video. Hopefully an FFO. All right, bye, guys.